Hi, my name's Helen and today we're going to look at a really nice, easy, cool down stretching session you can do after a nice long bike ride. Let's go. We're going to start in extended child's pose. So we're going to have the knees as wide as the mat, if you're on a mat. And we're just going to push the bum back to touch the heels and just reach those hands forward and just relax into that stretch. You'll probably start to be able to feel something in your hip flexors already if you've been out for a ride. Just take some deep breaths here. Breathe into your upper back. Try and open up those shoulder blades. Breathe into your lower back. Great, now we're just gonna come up onto our tip, tippy fingers. <laughs> And just walk those hands out as far as we can. Great. Nice. Now we're going to come into all fours and just start some really slow spine flexion and extension or cat cow. So we breathe in, drop the belly to the floor, lift the head to the sky. And then we, as we breathe out, we go completely the opposite. We do the cat. So we open up those shoulder blades, push the shoulders up to the sky. One more time. Now all we're gonna do is turn our hands around and do that same movement. And you're really gonna feel a great stretch on your forearms. Okay, so inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Turn those hands back around. This time we're gonna put one leg out. Same movement, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. I'm going to rise up, reach up to the sky, right hand down onto the right leg, and we're just going to lean into a nice stretch, stretching that whole side body if you can. You can look up to your hand. Great. From here, you're going to take this right leg forward into a nice hip flexor stretch. So we're going to push the hips forward, the knee doesn't go any further than the ankle and definitely not over the toe. So we're going to lift both arms up. Great. Now we're going to go into a bit of a flow. So we're going to rise up and then we're going to go into the stretch even further and open those arms out. So really opening the chest. That's been nice and rounded on the bike ride. So we're just going to open it up. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Great, now we're gonna place the two hands inside the right foot. We're gonna open up, nice twist. Great, place that arm back. We're gonna put the toes to the ground, lift that knee up. Push the heel to the back of the room. Really just try and finding space, really feeling a great stretch in the front of your leg and your hip flexor. Great. With one hand, we're just going to push that right knee out. So really getting some deep hip openers. And then we're going to try and put our elbows on the ground. So each side is different and you can open that leg as far as possible and just breathe here. If you're here, that's fine. If you want to use a block or a cushion or something to rise you up, that's fine. Just really, you just want to really open those hips. Great. Coming back up. Now we're going to take this leg and put it parallel to the top of the mat in a 90 degree position. If you can only put it in 45 degrees, that's absolutely fine. We're going to move that left knee back as far as we can. This is called pigeon pose. And we're really going to feel a really good stretch in all our glute muscles. So we're just going to come down 
elbows to the ground and relax into this pose. Let's do three big breaths here. Great, from here, all we're gonna do is rise up the chest, look up and really feel a nice stretch, the front of your left leg. And then if you can, we're gonna bend that left leg, do a big circle with the left arm and just nice quad stretch here. Three deep breaths here. You can't do this, do you find you're staying in this position? If you can, one more breath. And then we're gonna unravel everything and come into all fours. We're gonna point the tailbone up to the sky, push into a nice downward facing dog. From here, you're just gonna pedal it out. You probably feel a difference on each side now because you've done a really good stretch on one side. Pedal it out, those arms nice and forward. You want to form a nice V. Nice, feels good. Okay, back down into all fours. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, leg out to the side, a couple of cat cows here. So, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Nice. Rise up. Nice stretch over to the side. And look up at your arm if you can. Nice. From here, we're going to bring the left leg forward. We're coming into our hip flexor stretch. So we move that right knee back, arms over the head, and we're going to push the hips forward, not the knee. So it's really the hips that push forward. From here, we're gonna rise up, breathe in, breathe out. Go a little bit further, open that chest. Breathe in and breathe out. A Little bit further than the last time. Great, breathe in. And last time, breathe out. From here, the two hands to the inside. We're just going to open up. Nice. Bring the hand back. We're going to lift that knee at the back and just push, move back and forward. Just really find that nice hip opener. Great. And that knee down. Opening up the left leg to the side. And if you can, try to put your elbows on the ground. We've all got one side that's better than the other. I struggle a bit more on this side. Oh, nice. Relax the rest of the body. Send those big deep breaths to those hip flexors. Great, as we come back up, we're gonna bring the left leg parallel to the top of the mat, 90 degrees or 45 degrees, and we're just gonna push that right leg back. And then we're gonna relax into this position. You should feel a nice stretch in your left glutes. Three big deep breaths here. Slowly rise up, and all we're going to do here is lift up the chest to feel the stretch more on the right hip flexor. Nice. And if you can, you bend that right knee, circle the right arm around, and nice hip, uh, quad stretch here. If you can't do this, you can stay in one of the previous positions. Find something that feels good for you. Nice. 
Now we're going to unravel and turn around onto our backs. left ankle on the right you probably all know this stretch we're going to loop the hands through and just bring the legs up and hold here feel a good stretch on your left glute okay as we put the legs down all we're going to do now is cross Legs crossed. Just kind of move this. <laughs> All we're going to do here is grab our ankles if we can and pull the legs towards you. If this is easy here, you can add some resistance by pushing the feet towards your hands and your hands towards your feet. You should feel an amazing, intense stretch here. Couple more breaths here. Great, let's do the same on the other side. So left leg on the ground, right ankle to left knee and just pull in. If you need a bit of extra, you can kind of push the right knee out of the right elbow to really get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Then slide the knees so the knees are together, so you're sitting in a cross-legged position and just bring those legs together. Great. We put our knees back down, we're just going to roll over onto the left side with our arms stretched out in front. I'm going to take the top arm, the right arm, and reach it as far forward as possible. Once you're at your limit, we're going to open up to the other side. Trying to have both shoulders on the ground. Enjoy this twist. Great, so we're going to bring the knees back to the middle and same on the other side. So both arms out, stretched in front of you. Your left arm on the top is going to reach, 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 reach forward. Once you can't go anymore, open it up. Great. Come forward and we're just going to come on to our front. I need to put this on and cut this bit. <laughs> so now we're just going to do a stretch to open up the chest and then we're going to finish. So we're going to put our right hand to the same level as our right shoulder and our left arm out to, to the side. And all we're going to do here is Open our right leg and roll into the left arm. So you're getting quite an intense shoulder chest opener on the left side. Let's change sides. Put our right arm out, our left arm the level of our shoulder, and then bring that leg round. Great. And then that puts us in an amazing position 
to go back how we started in extended child's pose. <sighs> to finish. If you want, if you prefer, you can bring your knees in and just bring your arms to the side. Just rest here for a few minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs>